This is a quick tutorial on adding a lens to the One Little Remote version 4. Um, adding lenses only needs to be done once per each lens. And um, if you already know the f-stops for your lens, you can simply email them to me and I'll add them to the firmware permanently. Okay, so this is how you do it. First, um, just hold the dial to go into the setup menu. And then make sure using the left slider, make sure lens is in capitals. So that's how you select it. And then press the left slider to enter the lens menu. All right, so in the lens menu, you, you can use the left slider to move through lenses to choose one, and you can press the left slider to make that the active lens, um, or you can use the right slider, uh, in this case, and you can move through the options on the left, which is you can edit, add a new one, delete a lens, um, or make an adjustment, which is to the, which I'll go through later. Okay, so basically I'll select a new one. So once I've got that option, I press the right button. The first thing we need to do is make a name. Now the left slider here moves the cursor along the spaces at the top and the right slider cycles through letters and numbers and also you press it to save that particular letter at that particular position. So I'll quickly set up uh, let's say a sigma lens. I won't do the whole name. Okay so I've got the S, I move to the next space So to move after the name saved, you move to the f-stop portion by holding the left slider. So these digits here, you've got 0, 0, 0, .0 that's your f-stop number there. Uh, and then you've got one of zero, so we haven't actually got any f-stop settings done yet. And then this four digit value is basically the s-bus value which triggers that f-stop. So this is what we want to do. So basically if we look, if we go down, Okay, you can see we're at our very starting point, our very first f-stop, okay, which is 1.2. So this is for the Sigma uh, 1.8, but it's using a speed booster, um, and that's why it starts at 1.2. And so what we want to do is basically I'll name it correctly. So we use this, uh, the left slider to toggle between the different digits of the f-stop. You can see the little cursor moving. And it also goes to select which f-stop as well. So I'll press it again to take us to the first digit and I'll change that to a 1. Press it again to move to the next digit. Change that to a 2. Alright, press it again. Alright, so this is our very first f-stop. So the very first f-stop must always be 0, 0, 0, 0. So we can simply press the right slider to save it. And you can see it's saved and now we've got one of one. So what we can do is we, because the number of one of is underlined, that means you can basically just slide it and it creates the next one. And so in this case, what we want to do is we want to change the S-bus value until the uh, F-stop changes on the camera. So we basically just push it once, twice, three times. Okay, now it's changed. I'll show you down the bottom, if we move down, you can see that it's now f1.3. All right, so it's changed to f1.3, so I can save that. And now I can use the left uh, slider to toggle through, and then I can change the actual f-stop value that will be displayed. And then press, you always press the right slider to save the change. And so now if I press the left slider again, I move the cursor back to under the 2 of 2, and then I can basically move that forward 1 to 3 of, so because when it says 3 of 2, if it's greater, it means you're actually creating a new entry. And then we do the same again. We basically move the f-stop values forward until it clicks to the next f-stop value, which in this case is f1.4. And we do the exact same thing again. So we basically press the left slider to move the cursor into the right digit place. So it's underlined there. So I can basically change that to a 1. And we move that to 1.4. And then we save that. And you basically just keep doing that. You keep toggling up the slider on the right to change the f-stop value, sorry, to change the s-bus values until the next f-stop is set. And then you basically enter those values and keep going until you've gone through the entire range. 
Uh, look, if you don't want to set up your lenses, what you can do is if you know all the f-stop values for your lens, uh, basically just pop them into an email with the name of the lens and send it to me. I'll add it to the uh, permanent collection uh, within the firmware itself, and then I'll just uh, post up a new firmware version. Uh, yeah, look, that's it. Now, oh, actually, one last thing you need to do, once you've actually saved your lens, uh, just hold the dial. That takes you back to the lens menu. You can see it's highlighting the last lens I've just added. And so I can basically press that left dial to make that active. And so now we're back in the screen and you can see the f-stop value is displayed and it will tick over and match up now with what's being shown down the bottom as well. And that's it.